Okay, I've had some problems on how to set up problem 7.1 in your book. So let's go ahead and read the problem. One year ago, James Sirlank bought Dell Computer Common Stock for $20 per share. Today, the stock is selling for $19 per share. During the year, James received four dividend payments, each in the amount of $20 per share. What rate of return did James earn during the year? And actually, they're asking for it, what the yield is. And they want to know what the dividend yield was and what the capital gains yield was. So here they want to know the total yield. So let's go ahead and set this up. Um, so we're given, uh, first of all, it's $20 per share. Okay, and now we call that in the book, that would be P sub zero. Okay. And we can highlight, we can do, we can highlight that zero. And if I hit control shift F for font, then alternate B for subscript, and then enter, it'll make that into a subscript. Okay. And then I can copy that down. And it makes P sub one. And P sub one is $19 per share. So at the beginning of the year, hence subscript zero is $20 per share. At the end of the year is $19 per share. And then it says the dividend is over here 20 cents per share. And that's four times. Okay. And what we want to find, we want to find the rate of return, and we want to find the dividend yield. You want to find the capital gains. Okay. So for a solution, let's go ahead and copy these down. And I'll make these bold and click here. Hold down control and click here and here. And I'll go bold and underline. And then so the best way to do this problem is calculate these two first because this is just simply these two added together. So the dividend yield, we could calculate that by going to your book to page 113. And on the upper right hand corner it says the dividend yield is d hat over p sub zero. Well, we don't, we're not going to use the expected dividend yield, dividend, dividend here because uh, we already know d. So instead of, instead of what we actually know what we got and what we got is equal to 20 cents times four times per year. Okay, and for the new denominator p sub zero we have right here, and that comes out to 0 0.04. Of course, that's going to be percent, so I go percent, take it out a couple places, so that's 4%. The capital gains yield is in the same, on page 113, it's the equation right below that. It's the expected price on the stock at the end of the year. Okay, so ours isn't expected, we already know it. It was 19, minus what we paid for the stock, piece of zero. Put it in parentheses, because you want it to divide this whole numerator, not just the V2. And then that's going to be divided by, according to the equation, on page 113, piece of zero. And again, you want this to be percent. So I'm going to click here on the 4%, click the format painter, click there. Now, like I said, these two, this, this, the whole yield is just these two added together. So it's just going to be equal to this plus this. And that's my answers. That's all there is to that problem.